my freedom, my alone time. So I had that for 11 years. And I have to admit that at the beginning I, I felt um, pressured and claustrophobic and sometimes suffocated by the, um, by the demands. But I realize as time goes on it's not demands, it's, it's just what a caregiver does, caring for somebody she cares about. How did you meet? Well, I had been admiring Mike for a long time, although he didn't know it. He asked my friend Jim and I if we wanted to go for a beer. There was a little bar down at the end of the street. I thought that was amazing. I said, I better say yes. I don't want to miss, miss out on the opportunity. <laughs> he called me a couple of days later, and we started dating. And we were married um, 15 months later. She was an angel from the time she was born. She was just, she never, she never wanted to hurt. All she wanted to do was, was care for people, very much so. She, she told me when she was 15 years old, she felt in her heart that she wasn't going to have a long life. She seemed to have an insight into things. It scared me so much, and as it turned out, she didn't. Because she passed away at the age of... 29. I immediately got into um, writing passages to Tracy in my journal, and to this day I do that, so I've got 15 years worth of that. But it helped me cope because it, for those 15 or 20 minutes, it helped me feel connected to her. Just It was just Tracy and I. So Mike and I did well for the first year, but then after that things started to deteriorate. And I knew that just for Mike and I to save ourselves, I had to leave. I vowed that once I walked out, out, I wasn't coming back. I was going to make a new life for myself somehow. I had, to, I had to get back peace and serenity, which is what I had before. And I lost it. And I craved to get it back. And I wanted to do it my own way. I didn't want to reach out to people because I knew that people wouldn't understand. I was living two months alone, and uh, I was depressed more than I thought I was. I lost about 40 pounds. I moved here June the 26th, so you're probably talking about, in reality, to, to make the decision, it was probably made within days. When I saw how, how uh, desperate Mike was and how sad he was, and I was watching him and I realized that he, he, he was unable to stay alone. Welcome back. That's probably the only and best way of analyzing it. Without Jan, I wouldn't be discussing this with you today. And, and uh, as far as my emotional side, well, Jan has always been my love, and she knows that. And in some ways, I hope she feels in the same way for me. Jan, without having you, I would be a, a miserable old fart. But the way I am now, having you around, um, you, you, you created that aggressive part in me which is necessary to continue on wanting to live. To be a companion, a friend, a lover for 50 years, it's amazing. Uh, so, but Jan, I love you, and I will continue on loving you until the day I die, which I hope is not tomorrow. I doubt it, even though my back's sore. <laughs> when I made my decision, there was no turning back. There was no looking back. It felt right. I'm here, one day at a time, and I will say that forever.